Hey, it's Scorn here with a PC review for the Binding of Isaac Rebirth, the new sequel to the original Binding of Isaac. Rebirth is also available on consoles as well as PC via Steam. Rebirth and its predecessor are both roguelike games, although the Rebirth feels like it's designed for consoles and has been ported to PC after the fact. The game features very little in the terms of PC options such as no custom resolutions or even a Windows size option like the original. Rebirth features two options, a small window mode or a full screen mode, which is disappointing to say the least. The story is the same as the original Binding of Isaac. It starts when Isaac gets thrown into the basement where Isaac's mother hears God telling her to do it. I think the fact that roguelikes such as Rebirth that have very little story add to their replayability factor and allow for a person to spend a lot more time inside of them. The unique art style of the game has always been one of the best features of the original Binding of Isaac. This is thanks to Ed McMillan, the artist and creator of Isaac, as well as Super Meat Boy. But to me, this 8-bit style of the new game feels very cheap, and if a lot of time went into creating this, I think it was wasted. When looking at the original development of the game, you can clearly see earlier versions with a higher resolution, similar to the original game. And without warning, it just changed this 8-bit style. Was it a limitation of the engine? I don't think so, because Ed Miller says in his blog that the game's new engine will allow for the game to have features the original Bio Advisor could never have dreamed of without Flash. The game does feature bigger rooms and more items, but what about PC options like Resolution Z, or even just a window size option? I'm not asking for Bloom option, but Resolution would be nice. If this is just a console port, then why release it on PC as well? The actual gameplay is very similar to the first game, shoot mobs, clear room, grab loot. The new features of the game are new items, new enemies and new characters to play as. The characters can be unlocked by complete achievements through playing the game. The game also features a whole new array of new challenges to complete, as well as local co-op to play with friends, which is a great feature for when you have a friend over to play on your console's second controller, but almost feels like a moot point on PC. I would have been a lot happier if the game was released with netcode so that I could play online cooperatively with friends. When this is a future development to the game is still to be seen. The sequel does feature a lot of new items, which does spice up Rebirth, adding a lot more replayability factor than its original predecessor, but the original Binding of Isaac used a very well priced DLC to add more items and enemies to the game. But wait a minute, wasn't this what the game was trying to do? I think this DLC is priced very poorly at £11 to sell to do practically the same job as the Wrath of Lamb DLC. All said and done, I think the game to someone who hasn't played the previous Isaac game will still enjoy the game, but one of the problems I face is that I have to compare it to the first game, which I played and enjoyed very much, which makes me more critical of the title. Overall, Rebirth is fun and has consumed many hours of my life, but hasn't added enough features to make it different enough from the original. Whereas I feel multiplayer co-op adds a lot more life to the sequel. I recommend picking it up on sale, but maybe not paying full price for the title. Thank you.